Thank you. New developments in the 4 Run 3 bankruptcy case. As you may recall, there are several charitable organizations owed money by the former road race organization. Now the focus is on the Holyoke St. Patrick's Parade Committee, which did receive their money. There's a move in court to have that money handed over in order to redistribute it to all of those still owed money. And Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in studio with the latest details on this case. Glenn? Yeah, Chris Abbey, in a federal bankruptcy court hearing earlier today, the judge ruled to freeze a portion of the funds currently in the Holyoke St. Patrick's Parade Committee's bank account. Whether the rest of that money will be distributed to other organizations who are owed that money is still yet to be determined. The 4 Run 3 bankruptcy case continues in federal bankruptcy court. A trustee representing charities owed money by the former road race organizer is asking for more than $176,000 4 Run 3 paid to the Holyoke St. Patrick's Parade Committee be handed over to pay out the money now closed 4 Run 3 owes area charities. A hearing on Wednesday aimed to freeze the total amount of money paid to the St. Patrick's Parade Committee, but the judge ruled to only freeze a portion of the funds, roughly $31,000, that 4 Run 3 obtained from a bank loan used to help pay what they owe to the committee, ensuring that money could be used to pay the charities if the judge ultimately rules in their favor. Leading up to Wednesday's case, text messages shown in court filings obtained by Western Mass News between former 4 Run 3 owner Tim Murphy and parade committee member Brian Donahue paint a picture of Murphy's struggles to pay the parade committee this past spring. On April 2nd, Donahue texting Murphy, I didn't sleep a whole lot last night. Feels like you stole this money. On April 4th, Donahue texting, I just had another 16 k in invoices sent to the treasurers this morning. I really need this check. Murphy replying, I know. I'm trying to get it as quickly as possible. Court filing show 4 Run 3 had to receive receive a $90,000 loan from Mulligan Funding with a nearly 60% interest rate to help come up with the cash. A check data for April 26th to be paid to the St. Patrick's Parade Committee bounced four days later due to insufficient funds. On May 1st, 4 Run 3 received a $30,000 line of credit from New Valley Bank in Springfield. A second check wrote to the committee cleared. In a phone conversation with Joseph Baldiga, the attorney representing the organization's owed money, he says this is just the start of what he believes to be a lengthy court battle to win back money for his client. The next hearing for this case is scheduled for November 7th. We'll continue to bring you the latest updates on this case as new information enters our newsroom. But for right now, reporting live in the studio, Glenn Kittle for Western Mass News. Glenn, thank you for that live report. Con